Hello everybody, hope all of you are doing well. Uh, I just wanted to quickly take, so, take a minute and answer a question that was asked of me uh, based on the Word for the Week video that I uh, posted last week. Um, I talked about choices based on Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19, how the choices we make determine the life that we live. The choices we make determine the life that we live. In Deuteronomy 30, 19, we see uh, God giving us the opportunity to choose between life and death, blessing and cursing. So uh, this question that was asked of me was uh, by a man named Joseph. And he said, uh, you know, when it comes to change, the change that I'm looking for in my life is I am waiting on God to give me the visa to a particular country. I've been praying about this and I believe I'll receive it very soon. But he said, what kind of choices do I need to make to see this change in my life? So rather than just answer him uh, uh, directly, I thought, let me make a video because I think there are other people that have a similar question. Maybe it's not about a visa. Maybe it's about a marriage. Maybe it's about a change of job or something else. But I think it'll be helpful for uh, uh, several of you as well. So um, when it comes to a, a situation like this, when you're praying and believing God for a visa, believing God for a job, you know, based on the new covenant in the New Testament, you know, uh, Mark 11, 23, 24 says, when you pray, believe that you receive and you shall have it. Now, uh, so the, the only real criteria is that you've got to believe. In other words, have faith in, the, in, in God. And when you pray, believe that you receive whatever it is that you're praying for. Now, at the same time, it is very important to seek the wisdom of God in your life. You see, when it comes to marriage, uh, maybe some of you are watching and you have a particular girl in mind, a particular guy in mind, and you're saying, I'm praying that uh, you know, I get married to this girl, I get married to this boy. Uh, and, and the question is, well, are you using wisdom? Is it a godly decision? Is this, you know, are you sure that this is God's best for your life? And those are things that, that I can't answer directly for you because I don't know your situation. And so uh, I don't know the career choice that you're trying to make. I don't know if you're make, doing it for selfish gain. I don't know if you seek the face of God regarding these things before. So. Uh, uh, what kind of choices do you need to make about this? Well, for example, Matthew 6.33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So uh, maybe, again, this is not for everyone, but maybe you should seek the face of God and say, God, is there something? How can I seek first the kingdom of God in my life today? That's a question everyone should be asking, no matter what your age, no matter where you are in life. What is it that you need to be doing right now what kind of choices do i need to make to seek first the kingdom of god and then you follow through with that and god might tell you to serve in the local church god might tell you to give uh, more to the kingdom of god god might tell you to go and uh, help out in an uh, um, uh, you know in an orphanage in an old uh, folks shelter home whatever the case may be or god might just tell you to serve your family so how do you need to serve the kingdom of God? How do you seek first the kingdom of God? See, that's how you make choices that are in line with the word of God. And every single time you do that, you are choosing the blessing. Every single time you do that, you are choosing life and not death. You are choosing the blessing and not the curse. So uh, that's very important to know. Now, the, the, when I did make the video last week and when I posted it, what I was more so talking about is, um, from time to time, and maybe some of you that are watching, uh, uh, people will come to me and say, Pastor, I just want peace in my life. There's too much drama. There's too many, too much chaos in my life. Well, you can pray regarding that, absolutely, and God promises us His peace. But at the same time, what we've got to do is say, am I hanging out with the same group of people who always get into fights? Am I hanging out with the same group of people who always cause drama in my life, right? Uh, uh, some of you might be trying to get rid of an addiction in your life, and you're praying, you're seeking uh, the face of God regarding that, and, and at the same time, the question is, uh, not only are you praying, but if you're hanging out with the same group of friends, that got you into this addiction more than likely you're going to stay in that addiction so you've got to say okay I've prayed about it but let me also make a godly decision a godly choice to get away from this group of people now uh, some of you might be saying you know pastor I'm, I just go through one bad relationship to another it seems like everybody hurts me well uh, maybe you're looking for the relationship in the wrong places 
You know, have you considered stop uh, 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 moving to a different place? Have you considered hanging out in the right place with the right crowd so that you can uh, 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 get into a relationship with the right kind of person? See, those are choices that you make. Financially, you're making choices. Uh, uh, physically, some of you might want to lose weight. Some of you might want to get healthier. Uh, but if you're hanging out with the same group of people over and over again, uh, eating at the same places over and over again, and, and doing the, those are choices. And those determine the life that we live. Amen. So I, I hope that makes sense to you. I hope this helps uh, uh, many other people as well. And as always, if this is helpful to you, share it with your family and friends. And also, if there are any other questions uh, that you might have, write to me in the comments below or uh, uh, write to me privately as well. Uh, there are several of you who write to me privately and I help you out in different ways. Uh, uh, but uh, every once in a while when I think it, it can help a larger audience, uh, I'm going to start doing these uh, videos as well to, to help you guys out. All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed and I'll talk to you again very soon.